Hi everyone, uh, this is Nabil here at the Wabi Swabi uh, headquarters. It's just me today. Bloy is back, I think he's at home, uh, of course, doing his stuff. And I just thought about posting something because it's taking a while for the new video to get finished. But I'll show you the, some of the clips, the intro that we made. We recently did an experiment with my Pakus. We injected, with, uh, injected them with some uh, hormones and trying to get them to spawn. Pakus are, well, they're kind of tricky to breed, so put in some effort and we had some interesting results, but really, but overall, it wasn't a total success. Maybe a little bit. But I'll show you. I'm at my, in front of my computer, putting in some work, and so we're halfway there. Anyway, um, I'll show you some of the some of the editing, and then we'll go down, and then I'll do a pan tour of all my fish pans. This is the medicine that we used, Ovaprim. It's a it's a pituitary gland extract from a carp, and here we have it. I'll show you uh, Wait a minute. Wabi swabi. So this is the second dose. As you can see. Ilang malaki. Male big ito. Alright. Natural line. Ang muscular. Yes. Hi, Puneta. Second one down. Oh, check this out. It's fine. Homer. Hi, Homer. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, by the way, pala, uh, thank you for Sketch uh, Sketch Collective. They gave us, me and Bloy, this awesome shirt. Yeah. Sorry, I cut off the sleeves, but <laughs> it's more uh, comfortable now. Anyway, I'll show you the, uh, play you the intro for the new video, and then we'll go down and check out the pants. Before we go downstairs, put on Spotify. Ah, this is Ella's playlist. My baby's playlist. Of course, my classic classic. Yeah. Let's start with this one.
this is the crayfish pond na I've been keeping. Uh, I got some mga craylings about that big about six months ago. And then took care of them. Ang mabilis nila lumaki. They grew, they grew up real fast. And then in five months, they started breeding. And right now, I got a bunch in this uh, kiddie pool pond. Yeah. Water's about five to six inches. And then when it rains, from the roof down here gives me uh, fresh water, uh, free water change. I'll show you the baby craylings, the baby crayfish, uh, dito. Uh, crayfish are really easy to manage, but and. <laughs> That's not the pond. Let's check out what's inside. So that's the goldfish in Koi Nursery. I'm gonna move them to another pond, rearrange yung mga isda, and then I'll put the, some of the crayfish from here, small ones, slowly, ilipat ko sila dyan. So they have more space, we'll be breeding more, and then we'll have more crayfish in the future. This guy is molting right now. He's shedding his body. Skin basically. Whenever they molt, they, they're a little, bit, a little bit vulnerable because of their soft shell. Uh, it takes them a while to kind of just become active again. So I don't know, just let them be. Yeah, you just saw a crayfish uh, molt. They'll eat that shell for calcium. They're fighting over the, the bamboo hiding place. Pond number three, which is the Harlequin Rasbora pond. And the, it's kind of madami vegetation, so let's go. It's a bit too bright, but this is the Harlequin Rasbora pond. Hopefully you can, you can spot them. There it is. Can you see it? Can you see them? I should get some food. Amazon sword. I love this plant. They propagate by themselves. This out. See? Yeah, the stems. It starts off as a flower. The Amazon sword have nice white flowers. And then this will get heavy the the this one will grow more leaves and then because of the weight drops down like this one now you have a 
new Amazon sort plant. This pond, meron lang air stone, air pump with the air stone. There's so many plants. Parang it's their ecosystem. So that's three ponds down. So I couldn't get the some of the baby goldfish out. So I think they're having a hard time trying to reproduce. But eventually, I put 20 in there. Hopefully, in the future, I'll have more. We're going to the next pond. So that's three ponds. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'll show you the tree that we got from the side of the road. How it's doing. It's an update na rin. Anyway, I hope you keep watching. Behind me is, this used to uh, house four of my biggest pakus. I was trying to condition for for the hormone inducing uh, hormone induction but when we did the, the experiment and gave them the shots and after we stripped them of the eggs and the milk i put them back in the main paku pond the big one behind me right there i'll show you it uh, later i'll also cut up some bananas because they love it and then we'll feed them uh, i'll show you this pond this pond now has five Maliliit lang, very small. I started a new monster fish pond right there, nursery for those fish. So right now, here I have three giant uh, albino gourami, five red-tailed catfish. Then I added yesterday three peacock bass. Now I hope to grow into, you know, big. They're kind of timid right now, so they're just there. They're hiding everywhere they can find. Anyway, hope to see some of them. <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> okay. I feel bad about these guppies. I know the pickup bass will feast on them. Yeah. I have two filters here. One is a tower filter that I made. It's an old filter. It's still working. Three layers. Biomedia. Fiber fill. And then this one is the the two bio uh, mechanical filter yan this pond is well conditioned but because the the fish are still babies they're they're very very shy so let's see if we can find something okay i know some of their hiding places though check out this one uh, come on hey see that's one that's a red tail catfish. I know one is hiding behind the behind the pump. Right here. There you go. Hello. Ah, there you go. The peacock bass is probably under this basket. There's there's another one right there. There's two actually. Hi. So that's one, two, three, four. About the guramis. Where are you? Oh, that's, that's one grammy. That's the one grammy. There's a lot of um, guppies, but I feel bad. But I still have guppies in this big tank. The papus don't, don't really give a shit about them. So, that is the fourth pond. This one, used to be I grew my pakus in this pond this pond used to be a grills for the window you know that I repurposed because it was just junk I put some uh, insulation foam on the side and then some uh, what, a laminated sack and it has been with me for almost three, I think three years now. So I grew my papus here from that size and they grew into like more than a kilo in, the, in just this pond. So I had to move them to a bigger pond. And now I built the pond behind me, right there. 
the, the wooden one so I can house the big Rami 18 big Pakus 8 uh, golden tin foil they're all about maybe 3 years old the Gurami I think is 7 years old anyway back to this pond This is now working as my breeding tank for my goldfish. I got some coleco, white coleco in there. And some comet coleco. Anyway, that's the fifth pond that I wanna show you. That's the bug filter. It's just a container box that I converted and I planted some stuff some goto cola on it it's been working well I haven't cleaned it for the longest time but I'm planning to leave it like that another biofilter mechanical filter combo the next pond is the paku pond uh, filter let me explain I found this thing trash in the side of the road this thing that is the mainly the contents of the that filter right there it's it's parts of an old Christmas tree that I repurposed and used as brush filters for that big drum filter and then bio bio a lot of photos that keeps this pond really healthy look at the photos on this guy I don't know how much I didn't, never bothered to calculate how many gallons of water is in here but oh. yeah I built this pond about a year ago and then I had a problem with the leak because um, the pakus are nibblers so if there's a fold in your in your lining they'll nibble on it so I had to use like three ply, three ply. So the last one is for them to munch on, so they can get they can't get through the main liner. Now I don't have any problems with leaks. I need to take out the de the dead leaves. It makes the water a bit acidic, which is healthy sometimes for the fish as long as it's not too much. I don't check my water parameters, but because I have a lot of plants around the 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 tank itself. I think it'll be fine. I want it covered all in, in photos all around, going all around the pond, hiding the wood. You can also, but it'll take some time. But it's halfway there, almost. Let's go and slice up some bananas. And I'll give it to the Pacos. <laughs> banana, na, banana, na, na. Banana, na, banana, na, na. Hello, my dear. Hello. Ako ako yung blagin blagin. Yes, patawo yung kuya saging. Oh ha, yan yan. Down. Tana na na, tana na na na. Kumi letus kita man bibing. Na marapit na marapit na marangga tao mo na. Okay, thank you. I asked the staff to if we got some some old lettuce that is that we can't serve in the restaurant. You can give it to me so I can give it to the koi and I can give it to the papus. They're vegetarian, by the way. Uh, 
a slice some of this small so the so the uh, tin foil it will also benefit and then I'll slice some big ones too for the big ones there you go Bananas. Okay, that's it for the Paku pad. And let's move into the next pan, which is right beside the Tulanin. I'll show you. This is another nursery pangkoy naman. Pangkoy, isn't that a funny name? We used to call my stepfather pangkoy. He's, he's Austrian. <laughs> pangkoy. Let's go get some fish food. I'm just gonna get a handful of uh, fish food right there para, so I can show you. You can really tell, uh, determine the health of your fish, really. That's why you have to be there feeding them because you can see if they're healthy, if they're eating well. So I do my, I, I feed my, my fish every day, not every day. Sometimes fa I fast them for two days and then I feed them. Sometimes I feed them today, I don't feed them the next day, the next day, we do intermittent. I'll tell you a little bit about the the build, the pond build. This is a very simple, easy way if you want to keep fish in a bigger setting. This is just um, steel matting, the cheapest one I can I can find. Cutting it up to the height that you want, the depth that you want. We got a ratchet clamp to keep it all together. Actually, I tied the rope around underneath the this trapal right here so yeah put pegs in the ground and then zip tie them together you, you don't need to weld as long as you use a lot of zip tie then tie it around put tarp on it I think this one is about a year and a half years old already no issues no leaks I highly recommend for people that ha in a budget that wants a big pond a, a medium pond if they want to keep more fish this is uh, one way to do it steel matting ratchet clamp rope and then you do the sacculing not bad eh so I'll show you the filter yeah not bad Mad Max style fish pond it works these are uh, the filter I got a, uh, an old trash bin, converted it into a bio, no, to a mechanical, and then I got the bio on the side with some photos on top. And look at these photos just crawling into the water. It's it's coming from this guy. And look at that guy. Bye. A lot of photos. I love photos. They're really good for your tank. Those fish are eating well. So I'm happy. All right, on to the next next pan. This next pan is the smallest one I've got. Mm -hmm. 
There used to be a lot of guppies, a lot of mollies actually, but I think they just died out because the goldfish are eating the small ones and they weren't able to reproduce and then the adults, they, they basically just died out and right now there's only a few guppies and some goldfish in here. This is actually my filter. This is an old um, bonsai pot. This is an uh, eco filter as well as the horse tail. The horse tail I need to trim because as you can see definitely needs a trim. The construction in this one instead of using the ratchet i used a bunch of rope steel matting and then some rubber uh, backing the cheapest one i can find it's like 400 pesos that's about hmm, six dollars hmm, something like that. i don't know well i know but <laughs> anyway like plywood size uh, rubber backing and then once again the trapal so I you know save a little bit of money I'm not using too much uh, industrial liners cost a lot of money they're very expensive so with this one not bad I'll probably do some seasonal changing but right now they're doing okay that's kind of pretty right yeah it looks like a tribal drum uh, kind of fish pond hmm on to the next pond. Yes, this is my tree pond, baby. Holy moly. That is nice. Right now the pumps are turned off. I do have an aerator uh, there, but but sometimes when the when they sweep the the grounds, they accidentally trip on the the wire, so I have to turn it on again. But it was nice because the water was calm, so you can see the fish really nice. Time to turn on the pumps again. <laughs> Okay, I want to explain this this pond to you. As you can see, it's built around the tree. Also, one of my steel matting uh, constructions. You do have to worry about branches falling to the pond, but if it does, I'll just fix it put it back together I'm shying away from concrete ponds because they're quite invasive and because we have a lot of trees and a lot of uh, roots um, constantly moving the earth there's a tendency it would crack the concrete uh, pond let's see rubber backing still matting zip tie zip tie i had to put this this is not finished yet because i'm gonna put a net all around i found some of my koi they jumped out and fortunately five of them i found dead already so i had to put in this safety railing put some net some green net around it something like this i do have and maybe some bamboo for decoration at the back already have the bamboo I'll explain how this this uh, pond works if we go around I got some pandan trees that's been living there used to be one tree now there's like mm, plenty this is pandan hmm. 
You know what fandan is, right? Smells good. I got uh, substrate, rocks, some bricks. This is also home for apple snails, uh, regular snails. The snails, I keep them because I feed them to the pack when they love it. Here at the back, we can find the, these are water hyacinths, all water hyacinths. They take out a lot of the, the nitrates, the ammonias, and the fish waste. The pump is here at the back. You can see the hose right there. So that's a 6,000 liters per hour pump. It pumps the water into the, the main fish pond, the main tank. And then it goes around and overflows through these outlets. That's one, two, and Three. Second layer at the bottom is the bug filter. I can call it the bug filter, the eco filter. I haven't had any issues. Some ferns. My original plan was to plant vegetables around here, but I haven't gotten to that yet. Yeah, soon, hopefully. So that's the tree pond. Happy day. Ah, let's go we'll get some fish food for them. I love that sound. That means they're healthy. <laughs> No 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 Where's the chips? <laughs> yeah I lost five of them. I found one right there. You can see there's still scales and everything. What the hell? See? Bones. I found him there. I'm glad it didn't mess up the the parameters of the tank. I guess because there's so many plants around it found one fish dead over there one fish dead here another one got far it was i found him here there Whew. i don't want to think about it i even found one fish that got from there to there oh my god that's the tree pond Before we go to the next pond, and this is this is the new addition. Eh? I'll grab another banana from the kitchen, and I'll feed uh, see GT see gutter turtle. I get some bananas, huh? I need a overripe one. fish food on to the next pond when I caught this turtle by the side of the road living in the gutter caught it and I gave it to my nephew and we put it here there it is come on come on come on come on Come on. Come here. <laughs> I spit it out. You don't like it. Don't bite my fingers.
I should get something for this guy. Can I handle the chicken skin? Chicken skin. Would the shovel nose catfish eat this? Because my paku does. It's a lot of fatty stuff in this. Where are you? Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Mmm. She loves it. Pun number nine. <laughs> number nine. Number nine. So. I'll take a break. I think I need a cigarette break. So I might go to the store. And we'll continue the tour. We still have one, two, three pints. And then and then the tree. I'll, I'll do an update on the tree. I'll put the link of the video on the description. So you can see when we got it. Anyway, time for a break. Drink some water, agua, and then mm, say hi to the wife. Anyway, Nanai, nai. how is you? Hi, hi. How are you doing? What's that? Oh, Lansones. Mm. Hi, Nini. Why are you so angry all the time? <laughs> Sleepy. Sleepy. Thank you. Uh oh It's the first time that I did this vlog style vlog style uh, video Pasensya nyo na if mali-mali yung mga sinasabi ko. Uh, I'm not really used to doing this. I just want to show you guys the punch that I have. The fish that I'm taking care of so far. I'm at this uh, fish keeping hobby for about four years now. Something like that. But I'm still learning a lot. And it's quite, it's quite fulfilling naman. I feel very blessed and very fortunate to be able to do this kind of stuff. Hopefully soon, I'll be able to breed the pakus, produce more crayfish, not just to sell them as pets, but to also uh, you know, eat them. <laughs> it's a hot Saturday, but Mid afternoon. Ubusi ko lang tuyo si ko and then we'll go. I was a bad habit. Hopefully one day I'll be able to quit. Again, thank you for for the shirt from Sketch Collective. Wait, wait. There you go, so you can see better. Sketch Collective. Thank you very much. I'm telling you, it's nicer without the sleeves. <laughs> thank you, pala. Wow, my in it today. Whew. First, let's get some fish food para gretchen na tayo. Right? PO2. Let's grab the PO2 along the way. The turtle is fed. The shovel nose is fed. Next time I'll feed, uh, feed the shovel nose with fish or some shrimps. Okay, let's go. First we'll feed the, the what do you call this, the angel fish. Okay. Take this out, up to the way. There it 
Eat boom. There you go. And then the barbs. Ooh. And those are the barbs, angelfish, some tricolors. I really need to clear off some of the water water lettuce because there's some water lilies in there and one of my pumps stopped working so I have to uh, to replace that and then here at the back is the biological filter the eco filter that's the eco filter right there water goes there the pump is here and it goes back there I had another pump that's going to the mechanical filter there but now it's not working I have to replace it funny thing is I have some Aureus 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 barb about seven of them here and I think they lay their eggs near the pump they've been reproducing but most of their spawn goes into the biofilter I'll show you there there you can see it ang dami nila there's a lot of them see holy moly ang dami nila There. That's nice. So I don't know how many are there in in this <laughs> in the filter, but they seem to be doing all right. That's the South American pond. I need to do some maintenance. Trust me, I do have a lot of ponds. So, <laughs> ay ay ay. Need to clear out the, the net. What happens when it rains, and especially when it rains hard, goes down, it trickles down the net, and it becomes tea. That's one of my main problems. Another one is frogs come in here to spawn. So you can see strings of frog eggs everywhere. Because of the vegetation, it's very hard to keep an eye on them. And you know, monitor how many there is. If there's some fish that died, I really cannot tell but I am gonna do some maintenance here trust me I'll probably make a video out of it anyway after okay Ooh, hey me look at this guy wait <laughs> is that cruel Fish food. Now for the main koi pond. Hey, hey, hey. Here we are in the main fish pond. Seems healthy enough, but of course I still need two more maintenance. I still have to build my isolation tank for for fish that are sick. Sometimes I do have problems with this tank, like um, fish fish slice. My friend uh, always gives me the recommendations on the kind of medication that I do, and it's effective. Other than the fish lice and some of the genetic stuff with the other fish. When, when a fish dies, 
to me uh especially i do have a lot of plants here so the ecosystem here is doing okay the flow is good and i do have a bug filter at the back when when a fish dies sometimes they just uh you know it's just genetics it's like people too some get sick easy some are strong some grow big but also i just chuck it up as genetic so i wouldn't feel so bad but of course if i can put more attention more care then that would be better it's sad but it's part of life diba? Yeah, we'll go around i'll show you the the things that are going on in this big pond it's not too big it's not really that deep i do have a bunch of fish here after this one we go to the other one I do need to get a hose so I can put more water because I have to tap it off, it's been hot. Yeah, a lot of evaporation. There, you guys are eating well. So, you can see here, that's a big ficus tree. Oh no, I think the lights are off. Yeah, it's another brown out. Yeah, it's a black out. So, Excuse me while I turn on the generator. Honestly, I wouldn't be keeping fish if the generator wasn't there. We do have a problem with electricity here in our town. Regular blackouts. It would be nice to have some solar powered, you know, to have some solar power, but solar is so expensive. You invest on something and really, I did some research, it's just mm, a lot of money. I don't have that kind of money right now. Anyway, we have the generator set because we do have accommodations. We do, we run a bed and breakfast. We have to have continuous power but takes a lot of diesel hmm. well it is what it is anyway let's continue it's it's probably working half of its capacity as well as this one i'm glad this pond has a lot of trees a lot of plants so that helps with the water condition i do have two here two pumps supplying more a lot of flow a lot of oxygen the problem with this pond when they made it, they made a so a uh, itty bitty filter, which is this one, and the pond is big. A friend of mine recommended that the filter should be a third, one third of the size of the entire pond. So what I did is I turned this this part into a bug filter. The pump is clogged. There you go that now is a bug filter i got plants all over some amazon swords ficus trees so they, they all suck up the, the nutrient out of the water and check out this big elephant ear i need to get rid of it but look at how big it is and i have another one check this out Do -do -do. That's a big elephant ear right there. We call it Baijang. This place is turning into a forest right here. I'm just glad there's so many plants around this pond. Helping me with the uh, water condition. I got the goatee cola. Going, running. There. Before we go to the last stop, last two stops on this tour, I have to go out again and buy some vegetables for lunch. Anyway, I cut this video, Mona, and then I'll see you guys in a bit. I'll charge the phone then. Can I? Yeah. Pahingin pang bilinggulay. 
<laughs> Dua tingsi beloy Beloy swimming Semak tempat Opang jam pa kami Get to know, get to know now I, I believe I'm a neighbor So I pull my cards on the table Baba muna kami, I'll show the last pad, pati mag-update kami about the Big Ficus 3. Let's go! Let's go! It's very hot, so there's a lot of uh, evaporation happening sa mga pan. One is dun sa lili pan. So kami nag-meditate ni Bloy. <laughs> so peaceful in there. Very, very peaceful. <laughs> Kapatid dumating si Bloy, it wouldn't be complete. <laughs> <laughs> so we can finish with the pond tour. Last pond, one more to go. Brown out pa rin. As usual. As usual. We uh, have always ano dito power ano ba yan? Outrage. Oh, shortage. <laughs> shortage. Outage. Brown out, black out. Here in the Philippines, we call black out brown out because we are racist. <laughs> We'll go check out the big five ghost tree, the massive bonsai rescue. Yeah, we'll put the link below so you can watch the whole video. <laughs> We're just gonna do a simple update. 517. The they call this the, the golden hour. The golden hour. Okay, like, my sister is doing a children's class. This is the, the big bonsai trip. It's almost ready for for training, what we're gonna do instead of training wire, we'll just tie this and fix it the ground para bumaba itong ganyan. And then eventually ito tataas ng ganyan. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, we'll just tie it down. We'll put a big ring around and then use some string and pull down the, all the branches. So, we're gonna try up another method. Um, yeah, <laughs> another method. We'll do a video of that soon. But you can see, it's it's growing really well. It's, for those who watched the first video, asking for the update. Tada! <laughs> and lastly, mag-load lang kami ng tubig dun sa, sa isang pan. Alright, let's go. Yung iba, mga ganyan po. Whoop. Hi, of course. Tilimong spot yun na. This my sister. They're doing a Saturday Saturday class. Hello. Hi. Magalot lang kami i tubig yan. My kids. My sister are is teaching. That's my nephew. She does the Sunday class. This is the lotus pond. There's some guppies in here. Needs a little bit of water. In the morning, like that flower, it opens up there. Sana bumalik na ilaw. Hopefully the lights go back. Because if not, I have to go and buy more diesel, which is, of course, it hurts. Anyway, hope we get this video out soon. Okay. Okay. Done. Done. All set. Yeah. Ay, no pala yan. Ay, sayang, ano? Kukuha, pa, Anyway, this is about the end of the tour. Again, thank you for uh, Sketch Collective for the t-shirt and the free basahan from the mangas. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to say, Bloy? Uh, Papa Print. 
Thank you rin sa, ti- sa t-shirt sila yung nag-trend ng t-shirt. Nice, okay. <laughs> you guys in the comments uh, section yeah <laughs> watch your videos uh, thank you adios amigos see you next time <laughs>